Hey, it's Eli from PB Tech, and recently we asked what video you guys want to see next, and 56% of you requested a video on how to keep your gaming PC dust free. Now to keep this relevant with most of the chassis available these days, we've gone with the Fantex P300. With its dual 120mm front fan, single rear fan, and top fan mounting options, this layout is very popular. Look at your case right now, it's likely sporting roughly similar fan positions, and most importantly for this video, the dust filter locations. Okay, so the trick to having a dust resistant PC is getting the airflow to behave in such a way that it uses those dust filters. To check our current airflow within the case, we've set this one up using only the included rear fan. With the help of our trusty smoke machine, we can see there is considerable air being drawn in from the front top filter position with relatively little being sucked in from the front bottom intake filter. Of particular interest is the amount of air being drawn in from the unfiltered rear component slots. Now we'll control the airflow through our case by forcing the use of these two front mounted dust filters by ensuring the airflow into the case is greater than the airflow out of the case, thereby creating positive air pressure. When it comes to adding fans to your system or moving the ones you have to be in better positions for your dust filters, the little connectors like this one plug into your motherboard like this. However, depending on your model of motherboard, you might run out of places to plug them in. If that's the case and you have fans, adding an inexpensive hub like this is a solid option. To make things super easy for everyone, we'll dodge this issue by using the cheapest triple fan kit we have here at PB Tech. The SegoTep Rex GB, which includes a little hub and even a remote to adjust the fan speeds. When fitting your fans, you want to take note of the airflow direction. For some, you'll find little arrows on the side. But for those that don't, the general rule is that the air will blow on the side of the fan that doesn't spin. Okay, so time to fit our fans. The goal here is to make the airflow in through the dust filters and out the unfiltered rear of the chassis. With our included hub plugged in, we then connect the fans to it. The last step is to position our little remote control receiver. We'll just tuck that in here. Okay, let's power up with the new fans installed. Sweet, looking good. Now we'll just check the flow of the air within our PC. Yeah, that's way better. Air is now exclusively drawn in through our filters and the flow through the PC is considerably swifter, giving any dust that does make its way in a pretty quick path out the back of the PC. So not only is our PC gonna stay cleaner for longer, but it's also greatly improved the temperatures inside as well. I'm Eli from PB Tech. We hope you found this guide helpful. Let us know what other videos you wanna see coming up in the future. Remember to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.